you feel about the Giants all season, Nick? Giants all season, yes. Yeah, so uh lost some faces, right? Xavier McKinney no longer here. Saquon Barkley no longer here. Benedict. They call him Benedict over there. What do we call him? Benedict Barkley. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now now he's uh, <laughs> Philly Barkley. That's what he is. But yeah. eating them cheese steaks. No, um, I uh I think the New York Giants did what they could with the amount of money that they had. I, I appreciated what they did on the offensive line and free agency, just bringing in competent and capable veterans. Now, they didn't address it at all in, in the draft, which I can understand why some fans are a little hesitant there. I, I just don't know if there was the perfect opportunity for them to select a an offensive lineman with the players that they ended up selecting in the draft tyler newbin i really like that draft pick in the second round i appreciated how the giants tried to bolster their secondary i'm still a little skeptical on if the secondary is going to be all that great coming into the season i remain high on deontay banks but if i'm gonna assess the new york giants offseason They didn't get the quarterback that I feel like they need. I know they desperately tried to trade up to the third overall pick to presumably select Drake May. That did not happen. Now, they retain all the draft capital that they would have parted ways with if they did trade up to get Drake May. But now they're still sitting in this place where their quarterback situation for the future is still uncertain. You know, the Giants can get out of this contract that they gave to Daniel Jones last offseason after this offseason with relatively not a huge burden heading forward. So I'm still looking at the New York Giants like their roster's not that great. We are uncertain at the most important position in sports, quarterback. But I think uh, bringing in Devin Singletary, it's a downgrade from Saquon Barkley. I think he's capable. I like the Tyrone Tracy pick. Offensive line, I think should be better. But we've said that how many times, boys, being people who cover the New York Giants, follow the New York Giants, it happens a lot. I think they'll be, you know, a little bit better. And then the Brian Burns acquisition is probably the story of the offseason other than Darren Waller's rap song. So Brian Burns acquisition is, uh, to me, huge. Now you gave him that contract. I would say he, I don't think he has scratched his potential yet. And I think he can in the Y9 Shane Bowen type of defense where the offensive line is going to be ripping their hair out. Every time they play this defense, because you want to allocate two guys to Dexter Lawrence, probably want to help out with the speed of Brian Burns on the edge with the tight end chipping. So now you're talking about a six man protection, possibly, or a running back staying in, right? And then you have Kayvon Thibodeau, who's a fifth overall pick, who I feel like is talented and Aziz Ojolari. So I think there's a lot of talent up front. Now, can the secondary cover long enough to allow those guys to get home? And that's going to be a big question mark. Uh, Wink Martindale's defense. A lot different than Shane Bowen's, right? Like Shane Bowen's defense is going to come in. We're going to run split field coverages. It's going to be a lot more too high type of uh, coverages. Not as much middle of the field closed. Not as much blitzing. So I'm excited to see how that transpires and what the New York Giants defense can look like. I think they have some dudes on defense. Overall, if I had to grade the offseason, which I hate doing, but I will, like, I think it's solid. You know, it was a solid offseason, but you still have some big question marks heading into the 2024 season.